I cut two thin strips of tape, one for the horizon and the vertical one right in the middle. I need the latter as a visual reminder, because I want a huge cloud to end exactly in the middle of the painting. The first layer of oil paint is a mix of King's Blue Dark and Scheveningen Blue Light. Closer to the horizon I add a little yellow ochre, which gives the mix a greenish hue. This change in the color of the sky often happens, in particular when the sun is low. By removing the paint with my rag, the dark base layer becomes visible again. I use this technique quite often, especially when doing preliminary studies for larger work on panel. The advantage is that in a relatively short time, I get an excellent starting point. The broad lines of the painting become visible in no time. It's recommended to start with a clean cloth and continually use a clean piece of it throughout the process. Otherwise, you will spread the paint you just wiped off onto another part of the painting. you can create different intermediate shades, depending on the amount of paint you remove. The glazing technique consists of applying transparent layers that allow the underlying layer to still shine through. By using the technique I'm making optimal use of the dark base layer. Higher up the cloud catches less sunlight, resulting in a dark and colder color. That's why I'm gradually adding more indigo to the mix. As you can see, the first draft is still quite rough. The brush strokes are clearly visible and the transitions between the different shades are quite hard. For me, fine-tuning a painting is the most relaxed part of the process. It's no longer a struggle for a happy end, because the happy end is already there. At least, that is what I think, and that's the nice thing about painting. My opinion carries the most weight. I applied two pieces of tape, one above and one below the horizon, with a narrow strip of the painting in between. I want a straight horizon, which lights up in a warm color, a kind of echo of the lower part of the clouds. And again, I'm using the same mix of brilliant yellow, burnt sienna and vermilion red, but this time with a larger portion of vermilion red. 